we think as women and men, I deserve better. But my friends, God is not silly. Whatever you deserve, that's what you get. Because sometimes women say, I'm such a good woman. Why did I get this man? Because maybe you're forgetting. In 10, 20 years ago, you broke some man's heart. Maybe you hurt other people. And by accumulating this karma, you get what you get now. And so in order to get the best version of a man now, you got to start peeling off this karma. And the only way you're going to start peeling off this karma and becoming the best version of yourself, a kind, loving, compassionate, loyal, feminine, is by either praying, doing meditation or affirmation, reading books about femininity, going to make a zero results. Yes, I am in the masculine energy right now because I got to explain and talk to you and give you results. I am not like that with my son and with my husband. I'm soft. I'm kind. I'm cooking. I'm organizing. I'm calling my girlfriends. I'm not in result-driven energy. And masculine energy, it's result-driven. It's a provider energy. It's protector energy. It's a leadership energy. And so you ladies got to start peeling it off. And just a coach or a therapist will never ever will be able to bring that results nature start walking or running on the nature start being around feminine women and the best thing start listening to spiritual gurus teachers mentors and do affirmation meditation or prayer that's the only way to shed off your masculine energy see we have tendency to think of ourselves that we're wonderful our ego and our selfishness is in a way for us to see the true colors of who we are. And so if you are in a relationship and it's not working, or if you're single and you're not meeting a high quality woman, the universe or God or creator, however it's more comfortable for you, that this is a God's way to tell you that something is not working. And if we're single, he's showing us that we need to overcome certain challenges that is in our soul to actually deserve a better partner or to even be with a partner. And if we're in a miserable relationship, he's showing us that we're not deserving a better partner right now because we haven't overcome some of our struggles in the realm of our soul or in the realm of our mind. And so the more discipline and work you're going to put in within yourself, the better your relationship going to be. And if you're single, you're going to start attracting a better quality women. Please know that this is not my laws. These are universal laws, spiritual laws. And for men, in order to become masculine, they have to go to the gym. They have to climb ladder at work. They, they got to make money. You don't even have to work, guys. But you have to know how to make money in order to provide, in order to protect, make decisions, and lead the family. And so without it, a man not going to become a man. I work full time. My husband pays all the bills. That's wonderful. You see, a woman, I can tell, a woman will be happy at peace when she has a provider, leader, and protector husband. That's when a woman is happy. But a man is happy when he has a woman who is not working, who is at home and taking care of him and kids. Thank you for the rose. That's the only way it works. Yeah. Everything else, it's a superficial happiness. So unfortunately, in our present, most of men think if a woman don't work, she is lazy. No, only feminine men think like that. And yes, I record many videos that 90% of the society right now consists of masculine women and 90% of feminine men because in a society where you think all women are wonderful and feminine will be uh, all feminine men it will not happen no in uh, western europe in united states and canada all men are feminine because most of the women are masculine and masculine attracts feminine you want a masculine man become a feminine woman that's the only way you won't be able again to attract a masculine man if you're masculine. Do you understand this? But you see the problem with a woman. She wants to work, have her independence, make money. And also she wants to meet a provider and protector. But not a single provider and protector going to 
find you attractive if you have a career if you have a success independence and you seeking equality and you want to have your own income men don't like that masculine men don't like that but i'm sorry to say those losers feminine men who are lazy who don't want to make money who wants to play video games and stay on porn they're feminine men yes they love masculine women who are career driven and make money and so masculine woman attracts this feminine man and they are miserable together so ladies you gotta get until you're gonna shed off your masculine energy and become feminine how god designed you and created you you're not gonna be happy and our happiness it's not in making money not at work thank you for the heart but at home in our relationship with kids parents and our significant other everything else it's a very superficial happiness no matter how much mercedes ferrari lamborghinis diors and products you might have you will never be happy thank you for a rose our happiness only if we're happy with boyfriend and then we're happy with husband then we're happy with our kids and our parents and in order to do that you gotta know spiritual laws and you will know spiritual laws either by doing spiritual practices learning and having your spiritual mentor we each gotta have our spiritual mentor yeah and somebody says i don't blame you yes i'm not gonna stand this educational system anymore you know if a woman screams and yells she sends to a child a message that something is wrong with you and that's how they're programming our kids to be in fear and he starts to hate the educational system no 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 not a single woman gonna scream on my child so the teachers and by the way they're so protected when i start talking to them my son is always complaining that you're screaming at him she's like i'm not screaming i'm teaching him discipline no you're not gonna scream at my child so he's out of school we're just gonna do homeschooling and online uh, schooling together so how do I stop negative pattern thinking of thinking my man is always going to look at someone else if you're afraid that your man gonna start looking at someone else you are dealing with that fear it's insecurity when I shared last week a woman should not sleep with a man until she gets a ring a lot of women are saying oh that means he will sleep with other women if he sleeps with other women it's his business but if he does sleep during while he's dating you and he's all an exclusive relationship and he's sleeping why would you even marry this man why would you even marry this man because he's already telling you that i am this type i'm sleeping around bye bye and so with us women we are educating our men how to treat us but if you're afraid that man gonna be looking at other women or he will be sleeping around that means you're insecure and you have to work on your confidence and how can you work on your confidence because we women depend on our self-esteem with who surrounds us for example if your mother or father constantly telling you that you're ugly you're unattractive you're stupid your self-esteem gonna continue to go downhill cut them off and you can talk to them once a week for just five minutes until they criticize you they criticize you bye bye i have to go i have a boss calling me on the other line or my other girlfriend i have to go you have to figure out the reason and say bye to them if your man is constantly looking around or he's threatening you that he will sleep around your self-esteem will definitely go down and that means you gotta say bye bye to this man and start educating him if he is your husband not to ever do this again and if he continues you gotta distance because in a distance we heal but if he's your boyfriend definitely leave you don't want to be with a woman or you don't want to be with a man who is not loyal because if you are putting up with a man who is cheating with every time he's cheating or kissing or talking to other women your self-esteem will go down same thing if you have a girlfriend who does this we're not putting up with cheaters and people who are mistreating us because that hurts our self-esteem especially for women is that clear yeah i hope it is yeah the key hold out and make sure there is investment yeah but men will invest only into feminine woman who appreciates him 
who acknowledges him, who respects him, and who makes him feel proud, meaning, mm, you're such a noble man. I feel proud being next to you. Does it make sense? He wants to feel like a hero. He wants to feel like a man, like a masculine man. And if you don't do that, he will not invest into you. You're not entitled for the restaurants. You're not entitled for him to take you to movies and concerts. Men want something in return, your appreciation, your acknowledgement, and him to feel good and proud that he's investing into you. Please know that. He got another woman's number in a party. He's sending you a message that I can be dating other women. If you're not in all exclusive relationship, this is already a red flag. But if you're in an exclusive relationship, you got to say, have a wonderful time with this other woman. And I'm going to move on. Because this is the highest disrespect he's testing you are you gonna put up with it and if you're gonna put up with it next thing is not just gonna be a number he will be texting and calling her and he will tell you that and next thing you're gonna put up with it he's gonna kiss her and then he's gonna sleep with her and next thing he'll say bye bye to you i'm with this other woman so if you're putting up with it you are allowing him to mistreat you and the choice is yours but on your place i would say to this man enjoy this other woman i will be dating other men and that's it yeah we're not allowing anybody to mistreat us and it doesn't matter whether this is a man or a woman we gotta have principles that we're standing on we gotta have self-respect and self-love and when we do that we're not gonna put up with something like that yeah i am in a healing process how long do i have to take friends it all depends i don't know you to some people, it might take only six months. To some people, it will be three years. To some people, it's all their life. I've seen cases where women are so broken, so broken. When I look at them, I could tell. It might take them not even this lifetime, but the next lifetime to really heal if they're going to continue working on them. They've just been through so much. And so I cannot tell it's all individual, but I'll tell you another thing. If you start investing into yourself and healing now, there's a brighter future for sure, because every step as you're taking, you're getting closer to happiness. But when we don't do anything with age, we're continue not just being unhappy and broken, we're continue being more resigned and cynical. Because when you are in your teenager, it, teen years when you're in your 20s the life is still spicy and life is still happy and sometimes dramatic and you fall in love and you break up and it's very sharp in their 30s it starts to become more dull in the 40s people become become very very miserable cynical and resigned they're bored and that's why they're constantly playing video games they're on the porn sites or watching uh, movies or tv shows because they're bored and so if we're not investing and healing ourselves, and if we're not doing spiritual practices in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, you're really cynical, resigned, and scared, and really just complaining about men, politics, women, society, and all of it. We have to start working on ourselves, and the only way we're healing is when we are turning to the one and only doctor. And the best doctor who has your best interest is our creator. Everyone else is, here's pharmaceutical companies will make you more money. Take, take pills. <laughs> Thank you for the rose. No one interested for you to be healthy and happy. All pharmaceutical companies, all medical uh, hospitals, all the doctors, they're all poisoning you. Even the food is poisoning us with so much chemicals. The only person who really wants you to be happy is him and maybe you, if you connect to him. Otherwise, you're also destroying yourself and distracting yourself with men uh, who are mistreating you and video games or you know, <laughs> movies and other things because we as a human beings are very good at finding distraction in life not to be with ourselves and the reason why we cannot be with ourselves in silence because we hate silence that's why we need all the phones and computers all the time being entertained 
because we're bored otherwise. And these are very addictive devices. And so in order to be with yourself, to love yourself, to appreciate yourself, we got to do spiritual practices. Everything else, the coaching and the therapist, I've been a therapist, but I help people. But I can do this much. But if I don't teach people how to meditate or do affirmation or prayer, they just fully depend on me. But I'm not God. Therapists are not God. You know, so you got to do the extra work to help yourself. Okay? Yeah.